Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you my piece of art that also doubles as a CNC lathe with the additional feature of an indexing head. So what I did from the last video is to install these nice bellows two down here one on the back on here i cannot really install one because of the um, limit sensor inductive sensor and i have still to do this side this is just a short one i have to get some longer ones and uh, what i did is design this with eagle my one stop to go software and cut out from a carbon fiber plate i put this on here and then i have the exact whole locations and then it looks something like this and but before i forget uh, this video is sponsored by pcva.com this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Get your high quality PCBs from one place with instant online quotes. Select the features from various options, choose between advanced and standard PCBs, including flex PCB, assembly and stencils. But there is more. They also have online injection molding service, CNC machining with many materials to choose from, online sheet metal fabrication, including laser cutting and bending, and of course 3D printing service with different plastics, even metal. PCBWay is the one company that you'll need. After not being able to find a backplate that I wanted, uh, PCBWay came through and sponsored me this nice backplate. And I was able to finish the lathe. This was of course some time ago. But again, a big thank you to them. And uh, yes, so technically now my CNC lathe is finished. I still have to make a couple more tool holders. But other than that, it is done. It works and it looks, if I say so myself, beautiful. And... Um, I might do a little more upgrades like covering the holes here, the openings. I did finish the back side here with those end caps and so it all looks nice now. On this side I had it already done with carbon fiber. Here are the wires that are coming out and in case you are wondering how the back looks like. This is the back and it's very clean, no wires hanging out all on all sides. I also did upgrade the cable chain to a bigger one, the first one was a little bit too small. And I also have an inductive sensor here for measuring the rotation of the head, the RPM. And this down here is a NEMA 23, a long one. A stepper motor for the indexing head that's why I have two pulleys here this is for the indexing head and this is from the spindle reduction 6 to 1 I have a 24,000 rpm spindle and I get a nice 6,000 rpm which is high enough for aluminum that's what I mainly will use on here but it does cut steel as I did prove before. So all the naysayers that say aluminum lathe cannot cut steel. Yes it can. Of course not as deep or as fast as other uh, CNC lathe. Uh, steel made CNC lathe. But uh, aluminum with aluminum profiles you can make yourself. With steel it's a little bit harder. And this is it. 
if you're interested in the previous videos feel free to see them in my channel you can also if you like subscribe to my channel i will surely make more updates and um, thank you for your support take care everybody